Hey friends, happy Halloween, or as I like to call it, the unofficial kickoff of the holiday season. I'm Adam James and you're watching In Other News, the show where we talk about irrelevant and spooky news stories. Today we're going to talk about some aliens harassing an old ranch owner, a Russian man who let his hunger get the best of him, hashtag Snickers satisfies, and a sweet Canadian man who is just trying to spread some cheer. Hold on to ye britches and let's get this show on the road. If you're into horse ranches, the Arizona heat, and aliens, then I've got some great news for you. The Stardust Ranch in Arizona was just listed and could be yours for the low, low price of $5 million. Jonathan Edmonds, the owner of the ranch, has been experiencing encounters with the Greys for the 20 years that he has lived there. I'm not talking about these Greys, or even Christian Grey. I'm talking about the little Grey guys. You know, from outer space. Back in March, he posted this photo explaining that he was attacked by three greys and he was able to cut one. When questioned about the lack of a body, he claimed that the other two greys pulled the body back to the ship. In August, he posted this photo, which was supposedly from a fight he had with them. The photo had the caption, this is why I want to move. Someone asked him in the comments why he doesn't just move, and his response was, I'm trying, but it is tremendously expensive to replace a ranch like this before selling the current one. He also described a time when his wife was lifted out of bed and levitated down to the parking lot where she was about to be loaded onto the ship. So if this sounds like something that's up your alley, I'll link the property description down below. Who knows, maybe you can employ the little greys and have a nice symbiotic relationship with them. But let's be honest, you'll probably end up getting probed. Back in March, a very hungry Russian man ran around Tomsk, a city in Siberia, with a Snickers bar and a plastic bag. This ravenous ex-con managed to rob three flower shops, a grocery store, and a woman by just holding the Snickers bar in the plastic bag like a handgun. This man was reportedly trying to travel from Tomsk to his hometown, which is why he needed the money. He probably hit the three flower shops to pick up some pretty florals to bring home to his mother as an apology for robbing three flower shops. Evidently, Russia's pretty lax when it comes to robberies with fake weapons, though he did get sentenced to six years, even if that weapon is ruthlessly engineered to satisfy hunger. All jokes aside, the Ion team has a love affair with Canada. Taufik Moella was driving along to the grocery store listening to his jam of choice. C plus C Music Factory's hit record, Make You Sweat. Also known as Of course, Moella could not resist getting down in his car, boogieing all the way to the store. All of a sudden, a police officer lit him up. I was thinking they wanted to pass, but they called on the speaker, please go to the right side. See, this is why I love Canada. The officers say please. We don't get that kind of special treatment here in the US and pull the dick over. Reportedly, four policemen came to check the inside of his car and asked if he screamed. How rude is that? He was just trying to sing a booty bustin' song. The officers gave Moella a ticket to the tune of $118. Apparently, noise laws vary widely, but Moella claimed that he wasn't singing especially loud. I mean, come on, guys. No one can resist singing to this song, regardless of your voice. All right, guys, I want to hear from you. Would you cohabitate with the Greys? Does Snickers satisfy? Does everybody need to dance now? Let me know in those comments down below. And scream! If you like this show, please like, and you can subscribe by clicking the channel icon right over here. And you can watch last Thursday's episode by clicking the video right over here. And please share this with your friends. If you do, maybe I'll be able to afford Stardust Ranch one day. All right, that's it for today. I'll see you guys on Thursday.